Listen, Karen, if my kid can't bring eggs, dairy, peanuts, or wear any fragrances to school, then your kid shouldn't be able to bring measles. UNACCEPTABLE! What is up everybody, and welcome to another video. Today we are returning to Vax Happened, our subreddit that I haven't done in quite some time. And by quite some time, I mean like, it's it's been a couple of months. It's been that long. And the reason I haven't done it in so long is, although it is the reigning subreddit on the whole of my channel, I didn't want to beat a dead horse. You know, if, if this meme is gonna die, I want to let it die. I don't want to cling to this dying meme's corpse. But I decided that it's been some time and I might, I might as well return to it. People don't seem to be hating the subreddit yet. My second subreddit video is almost at 10,000 views as recording this and by the time it's out, I'm sure it will be there. So I'm just gonna come out and do another one because Let's keep my dead channel alive, because let's be honest, the other subreddits, they don't do as well. So let's get into the video. My husband is still pro-vax. I thought I had been getting through to him. Today on the phone, I said something about vaccines. He said, do you ever notice how I go quiet when you start to talk about vaccines? I said, yeah, I was hoping you were actually trying to learn something. His response? Talk to a doctor about vaccines, then get back to me. What? He is so ignorant about the topic, and apparently I haven't been getting through to him at all. Lady, your googling about vaccines isn't a better classification or better information than what an actual doctor who has a degree in what they're talking about can give you. I would take your husband's advice and I would talk to a doctor because that doctor will absolutely 100% be able to give you better advice than you can find on Google or Facebook. My son is unvaccinated against measles because he's nine months old and MMR kicks in at 12 months. If you give him measles because your anti-vax status I will drag you through every court in the land. Honestly, I agree with this guy, right? If you're an anti-vax, you, you think, you anti-vaxxers seem to think, oh, it's my child, so I can do what I want. It's not just your child, okay? Every child that is unable to get vaccines for whatever reason, but would rather be vaccinated, is at risk because you don't want to vaccinate your child. It's not just your child. You know you're a 90s kid when your vaccinations were mandatory and no one in your class got measles. <laughs> I love this one. It's so good. Nowadays, they're not mandatory and people seem to think that they're actually a bad thing. What's up with that? Does anyone here use Reddit? What good subreddits about vaccinations can I join? Reddit is extremely anti-vax. Good luck! Well, it's your lucky day, sir, because I have the perfect subreddit for you to join. It's called r slash vax happened. Chicken pox at 8 years and shingles around 38 years. I'm still living. No need to vaccinate. One of my mates got hit by a car. He lived. I guess we don't need any of those road safety laws. Oh, this people with that mindset really frustrate me. Like, yes, you had chicken pox at eight years and shingles at 38 and you're alive. But there are so many people, a lot of people who aren't alive because of those things. It's like, uh, what about polio? Would you rather be unvaccinated and be stuck sitting in an iron lung and using leg braces your whole life because you got polio when you could have got a vaccine and not got polio. And then think about the amount of people that died because of polio. It, ah, you're an idiot. I could get in a lot of trouble for telling you this, but it's actually the lollipops we give you after the vaccines where we hide all the toxins. <laughs> imagining a doctor being like here kid here's a lollipop and the lollipop is just a solid block of mercury 
my dog was denied a bath and a haircut this week because he needed updated shots, which I gladly took care of. Seems only reasonable to ask the same standards for schools with human beings. Call me crazy. <laughs> exactly! Anti-vaxxers are literally holding their children at a lower regards that most people hold their pet dogs. Am I getting through to anyone yet? This is like my fifth video. <laughs> we won't back down. 22,000 nurses refuse mandatory vaccinations. Oh, can we fire them? If, if someone that is actually an educated personnel in medical technology and is educated in medical stuff in general and they're against vaccines, they need to lose their job. If the person that made the study about vaccines causing autism lost their doctorate, then people like this also need to lose that job because they're literally a danger for everybody. Anti-vaxxer group furious after study they funded debunks vaccine equals autism link. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> there it is. They literally, they made a study. They made their own study, which would clearly be biased due to the fact it's hosted by anti-vaxxers. They made their own biased study and they still proved themselves wrong. How dumb do you have to be? My kids are unvaccinated. What essential oils can I use to prevent them from catching measles? Don't use essential oils. Use a large amounts of fermented Swedish herring, also known as surstroming, smear it, smear it liberally all over their bodies, several cans each day. That should keep all other human beings far enough away from them that they're not likely to catch measles. <laughs> As a couple of commenters have already pointed out, this is also highly effective at preventing teen pregnancy. <laughs> Here's a list of vaccine safety studies from the last 30 years. Blank page. Okay, but here's an actual list. Vaccine safety publications, research, CDC. <laughs> here's an unresearched post that I put no time into making. And here's an actual study that completely debunks what you're saying because you're uneducated and imbecilic. Have fun! And the final post, kids in high school. I just don't understand why I have to take biology and basic science classes. It's not like I'm ever going to use that information in my life. As adults. Vaccines cause autism and the earth is flat! It's so true though. It's so true. They don't have a clue what they're talking about when it comes to any type of science. And they would know that. They would know what they're talking about if they had listened. They would know how viruses work. They would know how vaccines work. They would know how the planet works if they had paid any kind of attention. Any at all. So that is going to about wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since we did one of these. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. We're making our way to a thousand subscribers. I would also like to mention, as I think it is as good a time as any, because this video will be coming out the day after my birthday, in fact. If I'm not mistaken, this will be the day after my birthday. I am going to be opening a Patreon, which the link will be in the description of my videos. So if anybody would like to support this channel, please feel free to contribute to my Patreon. Don't feel like you have to, it is an optional thing. I am going to be working at this YouTube thing as hard as I can anyway. Hopefully soon, when I am completely done with college, we can start getting more videos out a week. And Patreon will definitely help with that because I won't need to get a job. My aim in the next couple of months is to start getting a two video a week schedule. And I hope that can happen. I also have a merchandise selection, which I have had for quite a while because I used to stream and I made it with Streamlabs. In there, you can buy a variety of hoodies, t-shirts. I even have a couple new designs, which I put up a couple of weeks ago. There is now a new happy sad hoodie, a happy sad t-shirt, and a happy sad poster. Honestly, the hoodie and t-shirt are some of my favorite designs that I have on the website alongside, you know, my mascots and stuff. So if you would like to buy a hoodie, they're on there. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.